Hello, my name is Rogers Jackson. I am the pastor of the Emmanuel Baptist Church, 8301 South Damon Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60620. I will be sharing with you Sunday School Highlights for Sunday, February 27, 2022. The subject of the lesson is titled, Hope for Justice. Hope for Justice. The scriptures are found in Job chapter 42, verses 1 through 6 and verses 10 through 17. Job chapter 42, verses 1 through 6, verses 10 through 17. The lesson objectives. Understand the necessity of humbling yourself before the Lord. Minister, help others to see the justice of God in difficult situations. Job 42, verse 1. Then Job answered the Lord and said, the A clause, then Job whose name means the one who weeps. Job answered and replied in a word to the Lord, who is matchless and supreme in power. Verse 2. I know that thou canst do everything and that no thought can be withholden from thee. The A clause of verse 2. Job said to the Lord, I know that thou canst do everything. In the beginning of Job's suffering and difficulty, he obviously did not know the Lord could do everything. Secondly, Job came to know with first-hand knowledge that the Lord could do everything the Lord could do and will do entirely and completely. And no thought of the Lord's intended saving purpose and plan can be withholden, nor thwarted, nor frustrated from thee, from you, O Lord. Verse 3, who is he that hideth counsel without knowledge? Therefore have I uttered that I understood not things too wonderful for me, which I knew not. The A clause of verse 3. Job said to the Lord, Who is he that hideth? Who is he that keeps concealed counsel without knowledge of a careful investigation of the truth? The B clause of verse 3. Therefore, now and certainly, Job said to the Lord, I uttered 
I reported and I made known that I understood not. The C clause of verse 3. Job said, I uttered things too wonderful and extraordinary for me, which I knew not but only what God knows. Tell it. Share a wonderful work of God in your life. Verse 4. Hear, I beseech thee, and I will speak. I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me. The A clause of verse 4. Hear, listen, regard, and obey. I, the Lord, beseech. I, the Lord, beseech you and ask thee. Job. And I, the Lord, will speak and testify. The B clause of verse 4. I, the Lord, will demand and ask of thee, you, Job, and declare and tell and report and make known and explain thou, you Job, unto me. Job 42 verse 5. Job said to the Lord, I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now mine eye seeth thee. The A clause of verse 5. Job said to the Lord, I have heard, I have listened, and I came to know you. I came to know you by hearing, by reporting, and, and by the announcing of the year, the B clause. But now, said Job, mine eye, the instrument of my sight, I seeth thee. I see thee, the Lord God, with perceptive knowledge. Job 42, verse 6. Wherefore, I abhor myself and repent in dust and ashes. The A clause of verse 6. Wherefore, I, Job, abhor, reject, and despise myself. The B clause. Wherefore, I, Job, repent in dust, returning back. To the Lord in dust, the dust of fine powdery particles of the ground. I repent in ashes, the ashes of the loose soil and dirt that is put on a person's head to indicate their sorrow 
and sadness. Job chapter 42, verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. The A clause of verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity. The Lord turned the exile of Job. When Job prayed for his friends. The B clause of verse 10. Also, the Lord gave Job twice and double as much as he had before. Let me read verse 11. Then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. Every man also gave him a piece of money and every one an earring of gold. Let me read this 11th verse again. The A clause. Then came there unto him came to Job all his brethren. The B clause. Then came all his sisters. The C clause. Then came all they that had been of his acquaintance before. The D clause of verse 11. They came and did eat bread with him. They ate bread with him, with Job, in his house. The E clause of verse 11. And they bemoaned Job. They mourned Job. And they grieved. Job. They grieved him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. The F clause. Every man also gave him a piece of money. The G clause. Every man gave him an earring of gold. Verse 12. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and a thousand yoke of oxen, and a thousand she-asses. The A clause of verse 12. So the Lord blessed and favored Job with tangible benefits. The latter end and the last days of Job were more than his beginning. 
the B clause. For he, Job, had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and a 1,000 yoke of oxen and a 1,000 she-asses. Verse 13. He, Job, had also seven sons and three daughters. Verse 14, and he called the name of the first Jemima, and the name of the second Keziah, and the name of the third Karin Hapuk, the A clause of verse 14. And he, Job, called the name of the first Jemima, whose name means days upon days. The B clause. And the name of the second Keziah, whose name means an aromatic plant the C clause, the name of the third, Karin Hapuk, whose name means the horn of plenty. Verse 15, and in all the land were no women found so fair as the daughters of Job. And their father gave them inheritance among their brethren. The A clause of verse 15. And in all the land were no woman found so fair as the daughters of Job. The B clause. And their father, Job, gave them inheritance among their brethren. Verse 16. After this lived Job an hundred and forty years and saw his sons and his sons' sons even four generations. Verse 17 concludes. So Job died, being old and full of days. These are a few reflective comments for our Sunday school lesson for Sunday, February 27, 2022. Hope for justice. Job chapter 42, verses 1 through 6, and verses 10 through 17. Hope for justice. Let us pray. Great God, our Father, we thank you so very much for this word that comes to us, a word that calls us to humble ourselves each day and each moment before the direction that you set for our life. Help us, Lord, to see others and then use us, God, to help them through their difficult situations. We praise and thank you for the victory. In Jesus' name, amen. Go forward, my friends, and serve the Lord. Praise be to God who gives us the victory in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.